old folk stuff tonight. Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. That was Houston's own Tanya Nolan and Raheem Devon. Nolan has a new single called Celebrate on the Way, along with a new EP, and she's currently on tour. She joins us now in the studio. How have you been? It's been a minute since we've seen you <laughs> yes, here on The has, Factor yes, Uncensored. So to have this new song out, first of all, how's the reception been to the song? Ah, uh, let's celebrate. Um, it's definitely a song to celebrate. I've been celebrating and since I um, put it out today that it's going to be available <laughs> August uh, uh, 11th. <laughs> August 11th. Uh -huh. And so, first of all, when you create a song and you sing a song and you put your vocals on it, are you nervous when you put it out there to the world and you don't know what that reception will be like? No. I, I am not nervous about putting it out to the world. Because they're going to have their opinion anyway, so uh -huh. I, I make it valid to myself that my opinion matters the most. <laughs> <laughs> so. Boy, I swear for Lord, the devil is busy. <laughs> for real, though. <laughs> and so putting, uh, and you have an EP coming out as well, I right? I do, yes. And so what can we expect from that EP? And for people, we hear <laughs> album, EP, we don't know right, the difference. Right. What's the difference between an album and an EP? Well, an album have more songs on it, more time. Of course, mm -hmm. an EP doesn't have many. It's like maybe, maybe six, maybe eight songs. Is that a preview to the album, or is that just? It is a preview to the album. Uh -huh. It is. So I've been putting out um, singles um, lately, building up to my EP, and mm -hmm. then my album that's coming. So um, my album, I believe, will be coming out the first quarter of 2024. Uh huh. January, yeah. And first so, quarter. how has the reception been to the singles you have been putting out? Oh, pace yourself is the highest charting record that I've had um, since I've been putting out music. It wow. peaked at number 13 of the adult R&B Billboard charts in the nation. Wow. And, yeah. and to have that accomplishment, <laughs> what was that like? I was ecstatic. And what were your reps saying? I was it's like, going higher, it's going he, higher. He was, letting me, he was letting me know, David was letting me know. He said, I told you, I told you. Oh, actually, he overseed it. So. Uh -huh. Um, I was happy about it, and it just set us pretty for the next single, and Raheem wrote this one as well. Let's celebrate. And so to be able to put out music and remain here in Houston also, and then have people embrace it, what is that like for you, to be that close to your fans in your hometown? I'm overjoyed. I feel honored. I know that I'm blessed, and um, I just, still to this day, I'm still in awe because mm -hmm. I'm just now getting started, it feels like. There you go. There's there more you to go. come. We want to thank you for coming on The Factor. For those who want to get that latest single, the EP, and more on you, where can they go? Ah, type in Tanya Nolan. Any search engine, Tanya with an A, T-A-N-Y-A, <laughs> Nolan, and um, it will lead you to all of my music. All right. Good to see you, ma'am. Appreciate you dropping likewise. by on The Factor.